Well, good morning, Jeffrey and Nando. We're back. I think we should probably kick this thing on. What do you think? Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. Well, hello, hello, hello. It's your old pal Jordan the Lion and Ja. We're going to start the day out by going over to Tailwaggers. Ja hasn't got to go there for about two weeks, so they probably miss him. I know he misses going. And uh, we're going to take a little walk, and then we're going to go off and do a vlog. And I'm going to meet up with a Lionheart for lunch since she actually lives over by where we're going to be vlogging. So, let's do it. And it's a beautiful day here in Los Angeles, California. You peed in the shower. Sad water. There he goes. There it is. Long time since we've been here. What do you see? Well, since we were here last, they have a dog teepee, a dog walking shirt, <laughs> and it looks like they're putting in some sort of like glassed in playpen here in the front, probably for training. I think we'll go with these, bully, two different types of bully sticks. Once wasn't enough with this guy. Once wasn't enough. Oh, nice, looking good. So what we're gonna vlog today is the famous television studio, CBS Television City. And we're also going to meet up with Ann and we're gonna eat at Buca di Beppo, which is just an awesome Italian restaurant. And they just put one in over on uh, where the third and Fairfax um, farmer's market is, so we're gonna try that one out since it's pretty new. Now CBS Television City is one of the most famous studios in Hollywood and when we get there and I tell you all the things that were filmed there and some of the careers that were started there, I think you'll be completely blown away. Some of my favorite television shows in history actually. All right, we found a parking space, and ironically, it's right in front of one of my old apartment buildings. I actually used to live right in here on this side. And, uh, and it's street cleaning day, so I really lucked out because this is like an impossible neighborhood to park in. So we're actually gonna go have lunch first because uh, I have some gifts for Ann to give her, and uh, how this all came about is actually, uh, she's one of my Patreons, and I noticed when I was mailing out her postcard one time, I was like, wait a minute, that's, kind of in my old neighborhood. So I sent her a message and said, hey, if I'm ever in your neighborhood, let's have lunch. So today's the day. Here's our local school of rock for kids. I don't know, maybe you can do it as an adult. It's a pet store. Well, there's a bird scooter, but I'm hearing rumblings that they're on their way out. They're trying to get rid of them all here. And wait, what? They're bringing back Murphy Brown after all these years? That's weird. We're actually walking along outside of CBS Television City right now, and I see a massive line, which means they're probably filming one of the most popular shows that's ever been here, The Price is Right, today. Yep, bingo, as I walked by, I heard him say, we'll be filing you in pretty soon for The Price is Right. Yep, see, the price is right, Day. Don't worry, I on CBS. We'll be back shortly. So where we're heading to is actually like two buildings to the side of CBS Television City, so that close. I mean, I'm less than a minute away from meeting up with her, but I almost want to rent this thing just to ride up, but I'm afraid that it might be illegal Nowadays, you never know what's illegal with those things. Yeah, they may have passed a law that says uh, no riding the scooters in farmer's markets. Now, I've kind of talked about this place in vlogs in the past. Before it was ever a farmer's market, which it's been for quite a while, it was before that, it was Gilmore Oil Field. And then they also had Gilmore Baseball Field. They had a speedway here for racing cars. Now it's your local farmer's market with an Egyptian Sphinx, I guess. That's new. Here's the old style gas station, Earl's service station here. 
But yeah, this is new. I haven't seen this guy here. Let's go to the front and take a look at him. Oh, totally makes sense. It's for the King Tut exhibit, which I wanted to vlog, but they absolutely will not allow any photos in there, and I don't think I could even sneak any, so I'm not sure we're gonna get to do that together, but I'll definitely do it by myself. Probably tell you about it. Well, that's interesting right here in the middle of the farmer's market. Didn't expect to see that. Oh, and they have a little uh, photo op here. You pop in here behind the scepter and the uh, the cat. Nice. Well, here's our sign. Let's find Ann. Well, hello. Nice to meet you, Ann. How are you? Great. How are you? I'm great. Are you ready for some great Italian food? You've never been here before, right? No, no, I haven't, but I'm ready. Okay, great. Oh, as we go up the stairs, I just noticed they staggered it with some great artwork here. Oh, here we go. I always love this place. It's a full-on experience when you come here. And look who's gonna be staring at us as we eat. Not bad. I'm such a fan of the way they decorate this place. We, it looks like we got here before the, uh, the kind of lunch rush comes in, so that's, uh, that's always a good thing. Probably fast service. This is one of those odd things about Buca de Beppo I love. On one side, you have basically a bunch of butts, and on the other side, you have Frank Sinatra getting a ticket on a motorcycle from a cop. Yeah, that's really, uh... <laughs> So Ann trusted me to do our ordering for us, and I got the uh, chicken carbonara and the lasagna. And when I ordered the uh, carbonara, the the waiter even said, "Oh, that's my favorite. It's my favorite too." So, hope she enjoys it. Well, how is it? Do you like it? I love it. I'll be coming here again. Awesome. All right, Joe, we're done here. The meal was great. Thank you, Buca de Beppo. I always like these murals over here at the uh, farmer's market. Kind of takes you back in time. Nice bowl. All right, let's head over to CBS and do some vlogging. Well, here we are. What's now known as CBS Television City, a historic landmark, literally. They've went through the process of, if not completely making a historical landmark, it's right on the verge of it. Now, like I mentioned before we started this, originally this used to be the Gilmore Oil Field. And then after it was the Gilmore Oil Field, they had a football field here, they had a racetrack, they had a baseball field, and <laughs> they decided to tear it all down. The Gilmore family no longer um, owned this property, and they decided to, in 1952, two years after their very last midget race out here at the uh, racetrack, they decided to open CBS Studios that housed some of the most iconic TV shows of all time. All in the Family, The Carol Burnett Show, countless um, game shows like Love Connection, Hollywood Squares. It was all done here. Now let's go get a couple more looks around the building and I'll tell you some of the other things that were filmed here at one time. Now one of the most famous things that CBS Television City is known for is what this line is for. For many years it was run by Bob Barker, now Drew Carey, The Price is Right was filmed here, as well as the uh, soap operas Bold and the Beautiful and Young and the Restless. Now if you weren't impressed by that list that I've already given you, you can add on The Twilight Zone, Sonny and Cher, The Smothers Brothers, which is actually where Steve Martin got his start as a, as a writer for The Smothers Brothers, The Jeffersons, Maud, Archie Bunker's Place, Pretty much all the Norman Lear stuff was done here as well. Now unfortunately, this is one of the few studios in Hollywood that doesn't offer a public tour, so you pretty much have to attend a show that's taped here, like uh, Real Time with Bill Maher, or actually I think Bill Maher's Politically Incorrect was also filmed here. Now sadly, I can't remember everything off the top of my head that was filmed here, but I'll try and tell you as many things as I can remember. Um, I know that all the Pyramid game shows were here, 10,000, 25,000, and 100,000 uh, dollar pyramid. Welcome Back Cotter was here. Um, I know they did American Idol and America's Got Talent here. Uh, the George Burns and Gracie Allen show was filmed here. Um, of course, the Carol Burnett show, Double Dare, The Gong Show, uh, Jack Benny, 
Good Time starring Jimmy Walker and John Amos. Um, the Jeffersons, like I said. Oh, Mama's Family. Um, that also goes into the Carol Burnett show. Like I said, they did all that here. Merv Griffin show, the Mike Douglas show. Um, all of the late, late, late shows. Um, One Day at a Time, Three's Company, Red Skelton. I mean, Love Connection, yeah, the, the list is endless. And if you're a fan of That Thing You Do, I believe this is where they taped their, uh, their live performance when they were on television, it was also done here. I actually think most of all the older game shows were done here. Uh, Wheel of Fortune, The Family Feud. So as you can tell, this is not just your average fly-by-night studio. This is an iconic, culturally relevant studio because if, even if you just take into the idea of All in the Family being here and how Archie Bunker demonstrated this absurdity of racism and even that, <laughs> maybe one of the most classic television episodes of all time, when he has Sammy Davis Jr.'s briefcase and Sammy ends up kissing him. I mean, stuff like that makes it just iconic for this to be here. And now, like I said, they're turning it into a historical landmark officially, which is very important because what ends up happening then is that means that um, under no circumstances can Los Angeles or Hollywood find a reason to tear this down. Um, it will have historical status and um, that can pretty much guarantee it longevity here. And it's still a 100% fully functioning studio. Things are filmed here every day. There are still eight studios operating on a continuous basis. And like I said, even things as recent as um, America's Got Talent and things like that have been filmed here. And, uh, and, e and even I know Family Feud's still on. That's still being filmed here. Now when I read Steve Martin's book, Born Standing Up, he mentions in there his time working here for the Smothers Brothers and how kind of free he was able to be with some of those skits. And I believe at the time, his writing partner was a man named Bob Einstein, who most of us know now as Super Dave Osborne. A total classic. The guy's hilarious. Now, even if you take out how relevant The Price is Right has been with its insane longevity, if you just take into consideration that the Twilight Zone was filmed here and how many guest appearances there were on the Twilight Zone, how many iconic people were on that, as well as just how influential the Twilight Zone has been, I think just that alone should have gave it a historical status. And then I'm just a huge Mama's Family and Carol Burnett fan, and like my friend David Taylor says, there's no episode of Mama's Family that some sort of answer to a real life problem can't be figured out by relating it to that. And I do agree with that. Yep, get a good look now. Someday you'll come back to this vlog on accident for some reason and you'll go, oh yeah, remember when they had that terrible idea to do a Magnum PI reboot? There's your proof. Now Television City has a little bit of a soft spot in my heart because I fell prey to the uh, old tourist move of when I very first moved here, I, uh, I saw somebody giving away free tickets and I wanted to attend a show, so I came to Dennis Miller Live here when I, uh, I think I was probably here for less than a month at CBS Studios, I saw that here. Now though I've attended a taping of The Prices right here, I've never been a contestant, but when I used to have a delivery job, I once was called here and had to make a delivery to the stage while they weren't filming at The Prices Right and I actually got to spin the wheel off camera. Oh, well, that's a pretty nice mural. I'm not a... I'm not a Muhammad Ali guy or a fan or anything, but that's a good mural. Pay credit where credit's due. We welcome all races, all religions, all cultures, all sexual orientations, all genders, all abilities. We stand with you. You are safe here. All right, we got to hit the post office because I mailed out almost every single thing that I owed anyone yesterday off camera, but there was one thing that I have to mail out today. So we'll get that done and we'll be done. All right, Linda, to make good, I'm mailing you one of my Kiss drumsticks since yours got stolen. Yeah, worst post office ever. Even coming in here yesterday, I had nothing but problems, so hopefully there'll be a machine open I can get in and get out. Yes. All right, let's dump it off here. Good luck, Linda. Well, if you're seeing the Shakespeare Bridge, you know we're taking Jaw to the park. I mentioned it and he went nuts, so we gotta go. Yeah, 
there's quite a few dogs out here. I'd say about 10, 15 dogs already. On the table. On the table, of course. There he goes. They're over there fighting over a piece of tennis ball. What's going on? Didn't take him long to get back in the swing of things, did it? Well, we're out of here. He walked up to me, I said, you're not ready to go, are you? And he kept standing there, and I finally said, do you want to go? And I grabbed the leash and went to put it on him, and he lowered his back, so we're out of here. Well, all right, gang, we're gonna call it a night. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed our first full day back of vlogging here in Los Angeles. I want to thank Rhiannon Beswick and Nancy Hopple for making contributions to my channel, and yes, Future plans are in motion. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you for watching. We'll see you all tomorrow. Goodbye.